Raj Thakre is walking slightly behind the funeral cortege, obviously in his uh, in a sense of deference to the leader, not just of his family, the patriarch of the Thakres, but also, of course, the patriarch of the entire Sena movement. A rough estimate of uh, two, two lakh, uh, or as one would put the figure at uh, two million rather, is uh, being talked about as uh, the number of people there that have assembled along the funeral procession routes, as well as about five lakh that have uh, now already entered Shivaji Park. Raj Thakre, who was the first from the family to have stepped out before the media and the crowds, Shiv Sena leader passed away, is reportedly, as I just told you, not on that cortege. He's walking behind the cortege. Uh, according to reports, uh, Raj is following the hearse with his associates. They have also uh, built a security cordon around him as he follows the procession to Shivaji Park. Uh, Raj Thakre's wife is traveling with Uddhav Thakre and the rest of the family in the truck. Uh, joining us uh, in our studios uh, is uh, Dr. Subramaniam Swami, who joins us uh, to give us and share with us uh, his perspective, really, on not just the man and his politics, but also what has led to these lakhs and lakhs of individuals turning out, Dr. Swami. Well, I'm not surprised uh, about his lakhs and lakhs turning out because Bal Thakre had one great organizational skill, which was that he built the organization down to the Jopardpati in Bombay. And there he organized Kabaddi. I, I have myself been handing out prizes, uh, prizes when the Shiv Sena wanted me to come as a local MP. I was in a member of parliament uh, of Lok Sabha twice from Bombay Northeast, which was uh, their stronghold. Uh, but uh, we, uh, but uh, because of the Janata wave that time, and uh, subsequently because of my work, we got, I got elected twice. Now in these uh, slums, I went everywhere. I saw Shiv Sena uh, a in office, and B uh, the flag in uh, on top of many of these Jopar parties. So he used to uh, service the complaints given through a very elaborate decentralized system. Uh, that he had worked out. So at a moment's notice he could uh, bring out the crowds because they were grateful to him. And then of course there were most of these, um, these slums which is very large, probably one third of Bombay is a slum, uh, are Marathis and he definitely uh, created a Marathi sub-identity. Uh, sub I would call it a sub-identity because Thakre was very clear that he was never for secession like DMK and others. Uh, he was for uh, Hindu Rashtra and uh, at that stage he was only saying I want justice for the Marathis and therefore uh, they felt a sense of uh, uh, belonging that he created and as a consequence uh, many companies who were bringing in labor from outside began to accommodate.